All right, lots of rule changes. We are pleased to be joined here live on our Marlins opening day coverage by the owner of the Miami Marlins, Mr. Jeffrey Loria, who I don't know if you get butterflies on opening day, do you? Every one of them. <laughs> I agree. I, I agree. If you're a baseball guy, this day brings butterflies no matter how old you are, how long you've been in the game. I've been in the game 18 years, 17 years now. And uh, every opening day is a great, great, great event. I mean, look at the weather here. It's glorious. Yeah. Fans are excited. It's a new beginning, and uh, I couldn't be more happy. Your first opening day. What memories? When was it? Where was it? My first opening yeah. day was uh, 19, late 1940s, 49 maybe, in Yankee Stadium. My father took me out of school, and the Yankees played the Red Sox. And it was a, a tie game until the ninth inning. The Red Sox went ahead. And then in the bottom of the ninth, Gene Woodling had a long fly ball to right field that would have won it because there was a guy on first. Man, I can't believe I can still remember this. <laughs> That's right. And Al Zarilla caught the ball at the fence, reaching up. And Yankees lost, and I walked out thinking the world had come to an end. Ah, but that love of nobody baseball. likes to lose opening day. <laughs> That's right. You know, no matter what happens, some people don't remember. You remember opening day, 